welcome to today's session, which is an aero run. Before starting, make sure you have adequate footwear, you're hydrated, you've planned the route, and so someone knows the route you'll be taking. The first part of the warm-up will be bridges. Keeping the shoulders and feet flat on the floor, drive the glutes up so that the hips thrust towards the sky. Control down and repeat 10 times. The second part will be clams. Lying on your side, keep the soles of the feet together, open at the hip, abducting the knee away from the other one. Repeat 10 times per side. Then, standing on one leg, extend the other rearwards or sweeping forward at the hip, having a slight bend in the standing knee. Repeat five times per side and contact the floor to help with balance. Finally, heel to tiptoe walk. Step onto the heel of the leading foot, draw through onto the top of the tiptoe and repeat 10 times per foot. When running, remember to abide by government guidelines on social distancing measures. Avoid driving to a location first, choose a quieter time of day to run, and avoid hotspot locations such as tourist parks. Running can be used as a time for reflection and mindfulness. This helps to relieve stress, enhances mood, and improves sleep quality. It is also the easiest way to get vitamin D from sunlight, important for healthy teeth, skin, and bone. When running, we will use the rate of perceived effort scale, RPE, ranging from 1 to 10, where 1 is seated at rest and 10 is maximum effort. Today's session will be 30 to 45 minutes continuous running at 6 to 7 RPE. This means heavy breathing, but being able to maintain a conversation the whole time. Working in this range is best for improving aerobic fitness. The first stretch we will do is standing on a curb, placing the ball of one foot on the edge and allowing the heel to drop. Apply pressure by shifting weight through this leg, keeping it straight to stretch the gastrocnemius, or bending the knee slightly to target the soleus, both of which are calf muscles. Hold for 30 seconds per leg. Then, in a knee and lunge position, Ensure there is a right angle at both knees. Extend the arm of the rear leg overhead to stretch through the hip flexor, abdominals and through the torso. Hold for 30 seconds each side. And finally, the pigeon pose. From present position, bring the right ankle to the left groin. Ensure both feet and knees are in contact with the floor. Taking your torso to the floor will stretch for your glutes more or staying upright will target the hips and lower back. Hold for 30 seconds each side. Well done everyone, hopefully you've enjoyed that session. Remember now to stay hydrated, eat well, and tomorrow is a rest day.